a brief introduction. Like, how did you actually get yourself into programming then? Like, what was your experience? Because I've said mine plenty of times before. I had a programming course in high school that was Java-based. Uh, it was like a game development course. I did that for the two years I did that. Then I went to university and, you know, started uh, studied, like, programming concepts, Python, things like that. And now I'm here, not really use my programming, but you actually do use it. So <laughs> how did you, how did you get started? Okay. Um, so basically, uh, I'm not going to explain before I got started because I tried many times but I kept failing, mm. but I'm just going to explain the part where it was actually successful. Like when I actually got started. So that was just a year ago. Mm. Um, I took, um, like I actually do dropped out of college um, because I just I just couldn't take it anymore. Um, teachers were horrible. Um, the courses, like I was taking programming courses, but they were just horrible because of right. the teachers. Yeah. Um. So I tried another approach, and it's to take an online course, um, a free online course by Harvard University. Um, it's you know called course... CS. Ah, oh, yeah. So I was, gonna... I was about to ask exactly what you're going to say right now. Yeah, so the name of the course is CS um, Computer Science 50 or Harvard's Introduction to Computer Science um, or CS50 as well. Mm -hmm. And holy shit, they have amazing reasons. Like, they have a lot of resources. Mm -hmm. They have their own Discord server. They have uh, Reddit. They there are many platforms where you can ask questions if you ever need help. Um, their lectures are about, like, an hour to two hours long, mm -hmm. but they're literally quality videos. Um like the microphone is amazing. The the professor explains really well, um, and they have a lot of guides. They even have their own C documentation, like their C manual. Mm. That is, um, yeah. Usually the C manual is very very technical, but like CS fifty, they have their own manual that is basically in layman's not exactly in layman's term, but it is simplified. So they're not going to. Um, they try to avoid information of, uh, overload as much yep. as possible by using simple terms. And that's really how I got started with uh, programming and I started completing their courses, uh, sorry, their um, assignments. Yep. And from that, I gained more and more experience. Um, by the end of, uh, well, almost the end of the course, I uh, we learned Python, CSS, um, HTML and JavaScript, um, and C, of course. Yeah. Then I was like, okay, you know what? I want to try. Like all of these high level languages and C. Yeah. <laughs> we actually started, actually, we started from scratch. Then, sure. um, okay. because it's, yeah, it's an introduction to programming. So it's made for people who have no idea how programming works. Mm. So scratch is a pretty good utility. You when you want to get like when you want to start grasping the concepts of programming that's at least fair, in my yeah. opinion no that's that's fair yeah after that for some reason like i mean not for some reason act like the way they approach it is really well done they from the uh they go from scratch to c um <laughs> sure. yeah it sounds weird it sounds weird but they explain it really like in layman's term as well um with like a lot of simplifications they try to make you write um really um, good code and good uh, take good practices. Mm -hmm. And after that, they make you use Python. Um, so you can have a lot of the understanding that you got from C and then apply it on Python. Ah. You, yeah, it's, it's a bit... I don't know how to explain it. It's more something that clicks as you go through the course. That's a um, really... That's a really weird setup. It is. I but can... it at least it helps. It helped me a lot. No, I guess um, if if Harvard is making this public, they've clearly thought this through. Mm -hmm. Cause yep, they, yeah. I was Sorry. gonna say because my my introduction to program was very, very just teaching it like a maths class. Like, okay, we're gonna study this subject now, and we're gonna study this subject now. It's not like linking these it's like a really boring maths class like they're they're not linking the subjects together and how these concepts you know will 
ultimately help you build, like, help you build something in the future. It's more like, uh, we don't know how to teach this, so, yeah, just, just go. But the fact that it's, how long is it? It's 12 weeks, 6 to 18 hours per week, self-paced. So, yeah, like, uh, what, what would that be? Like, a, at most, like, 200 hours, something like that, if, like, you're going really slow. Um, the fact, I guess. <laughs> the fact that you can get, like, anything useful out of that shows that they've actually thought out the way this, this structure works. And you wouldn't go from scratch to C unless they thought that structure out well. Hmm. And plus, Harvard is a well-known university. Well, like, yeah. They're it's known. Also, it's also very, Harvard, yes. Uh... That's good. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, so, yeah, the, after that... We go from low level to uh, Python, well, from C to Python, and then we learn um, JavaScript, HTML, and CSS for mm -hmm. web programming, and then we combine with Python and start um, and start making web applications um, mm. and start playing with frameworks. Um, and at the end, like the last um, the last uh, assignment is a final project where you can do whatever you want. Okay. And I'm at my last project. I'm actually making my own application for once. Finally, I'm actually doing something. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so just a little spoiler. I'm making an application where it upscales images. Um, so there's a utility. Hold on, let me get it. Wait, is that um, why your Discord... Um, what are the description message daily something or <laughs> whatever the hell disco call it is? I hate real Escron. Yeah, <laughs> it's exactly that because I'm using uh um I'm using this like real ESR GAN utility. Yeah, the documentation is awful. Um, it's just your average open source project. Um, they have like a lot of the information are really really unclear. So I am just torturing myself with that. Um, it doesn't actually, help me, that it's already. Is, I was gonna say it doesn't help that yeah. all of the core developers English is a second language by the sounds of it. Like they're all Chinese developers. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, like I have my uh, right. So the application is a GTK four plus the Badweta mm -hmm. um, application for it's a front end for this utility. Mm -hmm. Um. So I'm trying to make it actually user friendly, but again, it's such a uh, the documentation is so bad that the application itself is the easy part, not under um, not understanding this like yeah, which but yeah, I just posted. Uh, don't look at the <laughs> don't look at the commit history. Oh, <laughs> uh, don't tell me that. Yeah, just <laughs> just ignore that, but. <laughs> E, e, e. What is yeah. yeah, at Something. some point I'm going to um yeah, at some point I'm just going to um um rebase it and make proper commits. I'm just doing this because um I switch I often switch from my laptop to my desktop and vice versa. So I need to uh <laughs> you know I need to put in my repo. <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard of I don't know, a dropbox? A drop Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't want to use that. <laughs> well, like, I don't know, whatever the thing... Yeah, a FOSS alternative, or just something that's not this. Well, again, I can rebase, that's which fair. I will later on. But at least with Git, I can I can run Git log. I can troubleshoot, you know? Use sure, sure. Git uh, bisect and other of their uh, commands and mm -hmm. uh, features. So at least I can take advantage of them. So the, the commit <laughs> messages is not really a big problem for me. Mm -hmm. But yeah. <laughs> Again, I will rebase it. I will make proper commits afterwards. But mm -hmm. yeah. So um, how was that experience yes. going from scratch to C? Because I'm sure that was like a weird jump. At first, I was like, what the fuck? But at... Afterwards, um, they have their own li um, C libraries. Like right. C it, they're called CS50 libraries, and they give extra functions just to m make it easier for users to get started with C. Right, right, right. Um, because again, C is m they assume 
that you're already a technical a technical user or like yeah, writer you or whatever wanna, you want to say. You want to print a string? Make sure you set your buffer size correctly. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I forgot to see, but <laughs> um, yeah, they have a lot of those uh, training wheels um, libraries mm. um, that you can use. And after that, like as you go through, you remove. Uh, they remove. Uh, they ask you to not use those li libraries anymore ah. and to go with the however C does it. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, they start teaching you pointers and then algorithms and everything like that. Mm -hmm. And they teach you to take good practices as well. How um, do they approach pointers? Because I've had a lot of teachers that are really bad at explaining them. Um, so they have a massive tablet, not a tablet, sorry, a monitor. Mm -hmm. um, and they visually show, like, they visually present how pointers work. Mm. Um. Yeah, again, I can't really explain it because uh, it's. I don't really remember the early. Yep, yep. Uh, but yeah, it's. I did learn about pointers, um, about algorithms, and a lot of the technical. Um, even compilers, actually, they teach a lot of those uh, fundamentals of programming. Okay. Um, yeah, very verbosely and simply. Uh, in a very simple way as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, if you want to get started programming, like my go-to is CS50. Um, it's entirely free uh, of charge, so you don't like you don't have to pay for anything. Um, it's all also openly available. All you need is an account, mm -hmm. and I don't even think there's an age requirement as well. So, um, the only thing that you can optionally pay for is a certification, you know, just to brag to companies that, right. hey, I got yeah. a certification. But the course itself is entirely free. The resources you get are entirely free. Um, and all their videos, their lectures are available on YouTube as well. Mm. I, don't, I wonder why they actually approach it this way. Like, maybe, maybe they realized that a lot of people were starting to do these, like, boot camps. Because that's what this is. This is a, this is a self-paced boot, uh, boot camp. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe they wanted to get in on that market, but lower the barrier to entry. Because, you know, all of the boot camps that are available, they'll either be charging you up front or charging you when you get a job. Here, they're only charging you... Do they have any, like, materials you can buy? Like, optional materials? Or is it just the uh, certification the, at the end? Just the certification. The materials are entirely free. Mm. So possibly they're trying to, like, onboard people into Harvard like that. Because I know Harvard does, like, online stuff like everyone else does now. So that could possibly be what they're doing. Like, you go through this introduction in computer science, and then, hey, you want to keep doing computer science, you're already in the Harvard system... Why don't you now enroll in like a full course or something like that? Oh, that is a full course. No, I, I mean like further courses. Like you've done your introduction. Maybe now you want to go do like the higher level stuff. Uh, their higher level stuff are on CS, like in the EDX website. Uh, and it's, I'm pretty sure they're free as well. <laughs> okay, you know my plan. Maybe they're just trying to do a good thing. I'm trying to think of how they're trying <laughs> to make money somehow. Maybe they just, maybe they're just doing a good thing. Yeah, I guess the certifications, but like, mm. I don't know how how much a company would value that certification. Maybe someone would, but I, uh, yeah, I think they would, um, because the word Harvard says a lot already. That's um, fair. 